my name's uh, James Deersley. I'm, I'm the founder of the Digital Marketing Bureau. Um, so I do a lot of specialization sort of in the marketing world, but at the same time, I've had 12 years experience in the property world. Um, so as much as I have one foot in the social media world, I have a, uh, a big motivation within the technological spectrum of real estate, um, partly because I'm an independent consultant for uh, real estate companies, big and small, to help them understand technology in, in um, helping them serve their clients, their customers, and um, sell more houses, basically. So I do an awful lot of work with the uh, 3D printing world, the augmented reality world, the virtual reality world, all um, specifically in the niche environment around real estate. So, you know, for me, what you set up here, Michael, is, is absolutely perfect. It has one uh, one aspect of social, one aspect of technological. So uh, I couldn't have thought of a better hangout. And, uh, and I'm quite enjoying sitting here watching people madly running upstairs, running downstairs, trying to set cameras up left, right, and center. This home is actually in a suburb of Salt Lake City called Sandy, Utah. It's south of Salt Lake City and it's in the eastern foothills of the valley. We're actually nestled at the base of the Wasatch Mountains and we'll see some of those views shortly. Um, so this home, it's a 3,800 square foot home. It has five bedrooms and three full baths. Four of those bedrooms are upstairs, including the master bedroom. In the basement, there is a, really a second master suite as the bathroom is attached to the bedroom. There's a second family room or a recreation room and a bonus room if someone loves crafting, weightlifting, really any hobby you have. There's a nicely sized room down there to make whatever you want out of it. Um, this home was built in 1992 and the original owners still live here. So it's been in one family. And in the last five years, they've put a new roof on with a 40-year warranty, and they've re-stuccoed the outside of the home. So they've done some nice upgrades recently to keep the home up to date. Okay, we're going to do the uh, little walk around first with one of the freehand cameras that Dennis has. So he's on his way. We're going to show you a little bit of the main living area. You can see behind me the grand staircase. There's vaulted ceilings in this room, which you might hear a little bit of the echo. It's a formal living room, and right to the side of me this way is a formal dining room. <laughs> I'm laughing you because you got somebody in the background there, the, the, the cameraman. <laughs> okay, can you hear me is the question. I'm going mic free. No, you're doing fine. Okay, so I'm through the foyer. We're coming into the family room, the kitchen, or the great room, as we call these for the United States. The views, I don't know if we can see the views, but the, through the windows and the blinds, but the Wasatch Mountains are right out the windows of this great room. So it's a view you see every morning and in the afternoon and in the evening. This is where the majority of families spend their time. It's in the family room and the kitchen. This kitchen was upgraded six years ago with granite countertops. The cabinets are a V-board, and there's a custom backsplash. One of my favorite features is in the open the lower cabinets, the drawers roll out. I'll show you. Voila. Then you don't have to get down here underneath and dig through the cupboards to find what you need. There's a brick loop right here. The way we move. And again, it has those gorgeous views that all year round are stunning. In the summer and the fall, very lush green, and in the fall that turns red, orange, yellow, and every shade in between. So come with me through here. We're in the formal dining room. If you have guests over, you've got plenty of space, and then you've got entertainment in the room we started in, in the formal living room. Right now we're going to try to zoom downstairs to one of the cameras Dennis has set up into the second living room or the recreation room. In this area just off of this room is a three-quarter bathroom and another bedroom and also on this level the basement is that bonus room that I mentioned that could be um, really anything you want it to be from an exercise room, a craft room or a kids playroom.
Okay, so we're streaming live um, from the headset, and I'm uh, just showing you some state of the my wife does, just to give you an idea of how well the video does stream. One moment, Dan, and, and uh, while I mute another microphone. Uh, do, 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 yeah, do, do, do. So, yeah. Right, I can, I'm can. i only getting audio from your headset now, which is great. Holder. This is a glass fusing of a face, a glass bowl, Wow. this bowl that she uh, fused together, and uh, more Christmas ornaments. Yeah. So you can wear this. I can actually see Mick in here on the screen as well. I could talk to him if he doesn't mute his, his microphone. Uh, yeah. Of course, you could do a whole house tour or property tour uh, with just wearing the device on your head. Okay, so okay, now so I'm going to walk, walk outside, outside and I'm, I'm carrying my Mi5 with me. You can see I have my Mi5 okay. in my hand. And, and uh, let me just let me go down the stairs here. <clears throat> And, and I just want to make sure this is all working well as I go out to the frigid cold weather here. Oh, that looks okay, cold. So I'm outside now. <laughs> that looks so, coming in from the highway, Route 202 or Washington Street in Barrington, New Hampshire. You can see it's about a 900 foot long driveway, normally paved. There's electricity along the sides with granite posts and handcrafted copper lights. There is also a video camera for security, as well as driveway alarm here. The town of Barrington uh, is only about 8,000 people, a nice little bedside community located about 23 miles north of Portsmouth, New Hampshire and <clears throat> and about 85 to 90 miles north of Boston uh, sits on 10 acres 10.2 acres of land there are dogs here and as you can see um, there's a sign here that says there's a wireless fence for the dogs. It covers about an acre and a half in case you have pets, want to let them run free. So the house is nestled up on top of this little hill. It's actually a cliff behind the house. And there's probably another, oh, probably another three quarters of an acre that's clear. And we'll do a quick walk around the side of the house. This is a leach field here for the house. The house is a Hello. Welcome to Travelers Warm House on this lovely January morning. The sun's trying to break through. Come on in. This is quite an exclusive townhouse on this gated development here in Chalfont St. Giles. We enter on the, on the entrance hall on the ground floor. We are on three levels in this property. Um, I'll just show you very quickly that we have a double garage here, which also doubles up as a, um, a utility area because we have the tumble dryer, fridge freezer, and the water softener. Electric up and over doors here. Obviously all the electrics and everything is, is in here. So we'll just come through. I'm gonna whiz around today. Um, we do have an understairs storage cupboard, lots of space for your buggies or hoovers and uh, the rest of the utility is here so you've got your washing machine um, in your storage cupboards and sink unit. This can be classed as bedroom four, um, it's really like a guest room, um, great if you have an elderly relative or a nanny, um, it has a nice little outside space in the summer, the sun shines down into there. Um, and we also have an ensuite bathroom, which has a power shower, over the bath, low level WC, pedestal basin, tiled floors, nice, really nice power shower there, I've tested that. 
if you want to have a quick look in the ceilings, we have some speaker systems here, but there isn't um, a system installed, but everything is there if you do want to put one in. Um, and the property is alarmed, so we do have panic alarms in the rooms. So if we can just head on up to the first floor, if you'd like to follow me. And on this floor here, we'll have the lounge area. Um, so we've got glazed doors coming in, two sets of patio doors out onto this beautiful garden. Um, so if you want to be, pop out there, be very careful because it's a slippery this time of year. And you can see we've got a private patio area here, on some more little grass area, um, and then the downstairs patio. And then you're up, and this is four acres, all beautifully maintained. You've got tennis courts, um, absolutely perfect on a summer's day. Not so great in January. Come on back in, be careful. We've got a gas effect fire here, and it's got coals, um, but it all works on the, on the gas, so it's very easy to use. And then we go through to the kitchen. Always the ladies' favourite room. Granite worktops and NAP appliances, AEG appliances. So we've got AEG for the microwave built in. And for the oven, we've got a NAP dis dishwasher integrated in here. Um, two bowls, waste disposal unit on there. And the boiler system, five ring hob. Very nice tiled floor as well. This is the study area. Um, not an awful lot to say, but great if you're working from home and you just want to have your desk in here. Filing cabinet. Um, we have video entry on both of the floors, so if you don't want to go down um, and let someone in. <laughs> and then the dining area is next door to the lounge. Um, again, with beautiful views over the communal gardens. And then we head on up. Oops, sorry, almost missed. Storage cupboard. Great for your coats, loads of room in there. And of course, the essential cloakroom, just in case required. Okay. It's one of those houses designed to keep you fit, running up and down the stairs. On this floor, which is the top floor, we have three bedrooms. So we've got the master bedroom, if you want to come through this way, which has two sets of wardrobes, lots of hanging space in there. Shut that door. Um, Got his and hers bathroom. Again, shower over bath, power shower in there, tile floor. And I think that my favourite part is this beautiful view when you wake up in the mornings. Um, very inspiring. The great British countryside. So then the other two bedrooms are just very basic rooms. It's got another double um, and then a child's room. You could probably get a double room, but it's better for a single room. This is the main room. Again, with these lovely sash windows overlooking the gardens. So we have family bathroom, I'll go in because it's a bit tight for us all to go in. You've got a shower unit with a rain shower, um, a panel bar, low level WC, nice pedal, uh, pedestal base in there. And then we have loft access here for your storage.
And as I said before, it's a, it's a vacant listing. And because it's vacant, I don't have any Wi-Fi here. And so what I had to do is I had to use my iPhone as a personal hotspot. And then I have the iPhone plugged into my laptop. And my, so my laptop is uh, on the internet uh, due to the iPhone's hotspot. And what you can see, it's giving me two, two camera angles, which is kind of nice. Um, this is the, the integrated laptop camera. And then this one over here, you can see is my iPhone. So I could actually pick up the iPhone. I won't do that now because of the pixel, pixelization, but you could pick up the iPhone and you could sh sh shine it out the, uh, the window to show some more details. But this is, this is one way of doing it. The other way is, is very simple. You could, uh, if you're in a home that has Wi-Fi, I could simply just use my iPhone and I could walk around the house live and, and show rooms that way as well. Um, the, the other thought that comes to mind too for, for some of the viewers out there is that you know this technology is, is great and it's, it's great for listings and new, new listings and such, but it can be used as a resource of information for buyers and sellers. For example, on Saturday, uh, once this, the property here is uh, all staged, I'm going to have a stager come in and we're going to be talking about the advantages of staging a property and how can it uh, increase the, the list price of the, of the property. Um, for, for those people who are curious, uh, I'm going to try to do a screen share here. And this is another feature. This is what the property looks like. It's, uh, it's a three-level townhome with a double garage. It's about 1,900 square feet. I don't know what that calculates in square meters. I'm not quite sure. But it's recently been painted and spotless and uh, it's got three bedrooms, three bathrooms, two car garage. And it will be listed uh, this Friday for just under, mm -hmm. just under 450,000 Canadian. And the other nice thing about this screen share is if I can bring it up here, here's a good way to show um, a floor plan. Uh, I don't know how it is for the other realtors on the program, but the floor plan is an extremely important part of my marketing because it can show a person the layout, it can show room sizes, etc. And so it really saves time uh, so people don't have to waste their time going out to a property you know, if they don't like what they see in the floor plan. Yeah, now, is this, um, is this pretty clear? This is the upper floor. You can see master bedroom, et cetera, et cetera. It's very clear. It's very clear. Actually, it might work better because of the way we set up the screens if it were, a, uh, if it were um, landscape instead of portrait, but that's okay because it, it is pretty clear the way it is. Yeah. Just, just to mention, Bruce, for you, um, just to reassure you, there was a study done in the UK for... Um, by one of our big portals called Rightmove, and uh, they, they wanted to know the top three things that people wanted in their real estate marketing. And number one was the photos, uh, number two was the floor plan, mm. and uh, they, they started doing a trial with 3D floor plans um, on the paper, and people didn't like them at all. They went back to this, the same old 2D floor plans because people found them so useful. Um, and the third thing which became, which uh, increased rapidly last year were panoramic photos, 360 degree photos and hence the portal decided to run out um, a brand new concept to do uh, 3D60, uh, sorry, 360 degree panoramic uh, photos which they could upload to the portal. So um, yeah, floor yeah, plans are very the important. Three, the three, I guess my comment is on the 360, I, I think it gives you a good, um, kind of a good impression of what's around you. But a lot of times, it uh, gives you a lot of distortion. So you, you have to kind of take that into effect. And, and, and that, that's why I find that the floor plans are really, really nice. Uh, a person can say, well, I've got a, a king-size bed. Is it going to fit into the master bedroom? Well, floor plan, you, you can tell all that. Or I've got uh, 
two kids and I want to make sure that the twin beds fit into their room, or is it going to fit, and so on and so forth. So. Well, if I just put a bit of a caveat on that, I actually think the reason that came third is because I don't think video is that widespread still in the UK, and yet last year um, it was really, video became the king when suddenly real estate agents realized that YouTube, they could put their own videos onto YouTube. Psychologically, when a client walks into a property exhibition or when they walk into a real estate agent office, there is a little tiny bit of stress attached to it. They don't want to get sold to, they don't want to get pitched to. What you're doing here, what you can do with hosted hangouts, what you can do with online streaming video is you can say to people, look, we'll show you around, but you guys can sit there with a cup of tea, sitting on your sofa, and you can relax while we'll show you what this property is all about. And it's the change of the psychology of a sale, of a property sale, which I think is so unbelievably important for the clients, which is why this, again, has got huge legs for next, um, the next couple of years. Yeah, J James, I, I really love what you just said because it's so true. You know, customers don't want to be sold. They want to buy, but they don't want to be sold. Absolutely. Well, James Deersley, thank you so much for your contribution from the, uh, I guess, from the uh, marketing side and from uh, all the, the research and, and what you do. You've been a, an extremely valuable resource person tonight, and thank you for taking time uh, to, uh, to, to share with us.